In this episode, how to give your old stuff a new life. So next time you have a bottle of wine, do not throw away the cork because my friends, these come in very handy and I'm gonna teach you how to make an earphone holder. So the first thing you wanna do is actually make a slit right here. Next thing you wanna do is you actually wanna put a hole at the other end of the cork. Grab your jack, put it inside the hole that you just made, put it in like this. Wrap your earphones around the cork and with the end, you just hook it into the slit that you made. And just like that, it's nice and neat. You can throw it in your bag and it won't get tangled up. See, done. Did you know that the hands of Lego figurines can actually hold many phone cables? People can just grab onto the cable just like that. Very easy, very cute and very cute. <laughs> so all you need to do is you just grab some blue tack, stick it on the back of your Lego man, stick it to wherever I want my cable to be, and then I just get her to hold my cable. And there you go, a really simple little trick. And it's useful and it's a new life for my old things, old Lego. <laughs> So if you've got some old tennis balls lying around the house, don't throw them away because you can use them for all kinds of things. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a photo holder. All you need is a piece of wire, and I have a picture of my parents right here. So the first thing you need to do is cut your ball in half, which I've already done here, as you can see. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna grab your wire and you wanna coil it around into a coil. So mine looks like this. Put a little hole into the tennis ball to stick your wire in. And there you go. It is as simple as that. Tick, 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 tick. My parents are gonna kill me. Actually, they probably won't kill me. It's a nice photo of them. So who do I look like more, my mum or my dad? Leave a comment, let me know. Another thing you can do with your tennis balls is actually create a holder. Cut a slit in the middle of the ball, maybe an inch wide. Put some wall friendly tape on the back of my ball. So now it's ready to be stuck to the wall. I've got my ball all stuck on the wall and I'm gonna just show you how useful it is. You just squeeze it like that and put your letters there. My very beautiful keys. <laughs> You can get this at tandemmatch.com if you like it. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of these things lying around the house. Now when you buy glasses, they always give you these pouches for your glasses and they're kind of useless. I very seldom use these cases because I prefer the hard cases because they're more protective for your glasses, right? So I'm gonna show you how to repurpose these into something that's actually useful. So all you need is an elastic band, which I found lying around the house. So I'm just gonna use that. So I'm gonna lay my band out like that. Fold the two ends over the case like that and I'm gonna glue these bits down. Put the elastic band the other way, so it's like this. And then I just grab my diary and I place the pencil case on the diary like this. And then all that's left to do is put your pencils in the little pouch and there you go. My pencil case is attached to my diary and it will never be lost ever again. Some of you may or may not have a fidget spinner that you probably wasted your money on and don't use anymore, right? I don't know, I could be wrong. Well, I'm probably wrong, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna teach you a way to reuse your fidget spinners for something that's actually useful. I've got a couple of mason jar lids and then I've got myself a plate here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Lazy Susan. Put some glue in the middle of the fidget spinner and then I'm gonna glue my fidget spinner on the lid, right in the middle. Next thing I wanna glue just the three edges. Stick it to the fidget spinner now. The next step is to actually glue the lid onto the plate. Let that set for a while. All right, so my Lazy Susan is done, and as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, I guess you could use a Lazy Susan for your sauces or spices or anything that you have in a cupboard, like a lot of products or whatever. You can put it on a Lazy Susan, put it in a corner of a cupboard, give it a spin, and then everything is easy access. So with this next one, I'm gonna reuse some old CDs because who the hell uses them now? Nobody. <laughs> well, there might be some people. Anyway, so I'm gonna teach you how to turn your old CDs into a 
Christmas ball decoration thingy. I've got myself a plastic ball thingy here, which I can turn into all sorts of things, like um, a bra, maybe, or some earphones. <laughs> you can hear the ocean in it. This is nonsense. I'm just gonna go straight to the thing. <laughs> I've got some ribbon and I've got some old CDs here. So first thing I want to do is put the ribbon inside it. Make sure you tape the sides so it doesn't open. And then cut your CDs. This is very scary. Ooh. Please be careful when you're doing this because there are a lot of sharp edges. So hold it away from your eyes. All right, so I've cut some pieces up here and now I'm just gonna grab my glue gun and stick these pieces onto my Christmas decoration. Quite um, relaxing doing this, I must say. I guess I'm turning into an auntie. Find these kind of things so fun. <laughs> All right, and so we are done with the Christmas ball and this is what it looks like, people. I actually do think this looks really cool. If you want to have a party at your house but you don't have any money to make decorations, you can make a disco ball. And at Christmas time, you can put it on your Christmas tree. Huh? If you like DIY holiday gifts, this is just perfect, don't you think? Now, if you have an old toy, like I have right here, that you don't have any use for anymore, why not turn it into a pouch? So all you need for this is just a zipper and a glue gun. So we're going to jump right into surgery right here, and I'm going to make a cut from about here to his bum here. So now to take out the stuffing. Oh, and I wore black today. Great. <laughs> The next thing you want to do is you want to add some glue to the zipper so that you can glue it to the edge of your cut. Then, after you've done one side, you've got to do the other side. Oh no, I got it on the zip! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is a disaster! So it looks something like this. I know it doesn't look so neat because I've got glue absolutely everywhere. It looks like this when I open it. Now all I have to do is put my belongings inside my little pouch. So there you go, I've turned my old stuffed toy into a pouch which I can use for all kinds of things. It's a great little hidey place for all your valuables because no one's going to want to steal a teddy bear, right? Well actually I could be wrong, but anyway you get the idea. Another great way to use old stuffed toys is actually turn it into a curtain holder. This is great for children's rooms especially. So all you have to do is glue the Velcro pieces onto the paws like this. Alright, so now my teddy bear is ready to hug my curtain. Wrap its legs around the curtain, stick it together and there you go. Eh? Pretty cute actually. So I saw a video online and they're selling this portable movie theater. And what it is, is like a box that you put over your head and you watch your phone. And it kind of gives you that feeling that you're in a movie theater. I personally wouldn't buy such a thing because I think it's a waste of money, but someone out there, you may like to try it out. So I'm gonna tell you, don't spend a single cent because I'm gonna teach you how to make your own. So all you need is an old box, okay? And you want to grab your phone, trace around your phone. And now I just got to cut it out. Okay, so when you're cutting, just cut just a little bit inside the lines. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut out a hole where your head can fit in. So you want to cut a hole not too big because you don't want too much light going inside the box. And now to pop myself into the movie theater. Like this, amazing. <laughs> so stupid, where's my phone? <laughs> so I can just place my phone over the hole like that. So good thing about this is that it is hands-free so I can relax and while I'm lying down I can have my phone above me and I don't have to strain my arm while holding it. Well, I mean, it's another way to use a box. I mean, if that doesn't work for you, your cat will love it. <laughs> if you have an old phone lying around the house that you do not use anymore, you can actually turn it into a security camera or a nanny camera. It is as simple as downloading an app called Presents. Okay, so I've downloaded the app on both phones. Now they're just syncing up together. 
So my current phone, my Google phone, is actually acting as a monitor and my old phone is acting as the camera. Okay, so you can actually place this camera anywhere you want, hide it into whichever nook and cranny, I don't know, up to you, and you can spy on people. So obviously for this to work, you need both phones to be connected to the internet. And that's all there is to it. You don't have to go out there and spend money on a security camera when you can use your old phone. We've come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merch. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com. Also, we've got some new stuff on sale, so go check it out. You might find something that you like. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99, and if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can just download the free Click Now Wake Up to watch all of the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah. Ding!